2013. And this is uh, our group, our research group. Yes, the, uh, as we know that azithromycin is an azelite, a subclass of macrolide antibiotics related to erythromycin. And this drug mainly to treat a variety of bacterial infections caused by respiratory pathogens such as aerobic, gram-positive, and gram-negative microorganisms. And this is the uh, structure of azithromycin with a molecular weight uh, about 749. Uh, the pharmacokinetic data following oral administration, azithromycin is rapidly absorbed and the team makes about two until three hours and distributed throughout the body. And rapid movement of azithromycin from blood into tissue and has significantly higher azithromycin concentration in tissue than in plasma up to 50 times the maximum of syrup concentration in plasma. Plasma concentration of azithromycin declined in a polyphasic pattern, and the average terminal half-life uh, about uh, 68 hours. And a single dose, five milligram dose, the half-life of azithromycin is about 40 until 50 hours, and the absolute bioavailability is approximately 37%. So in our country, there are many uh, copy medicinal product of azithromycin, and uh, should it need the bioequivalent study? Due to our regulatory, the National Agency for Drug and Food Control in Indonesia, it is compulsory for the generic or copy products of antibacteria to conduct the bioequivalent study, include the azithromycin. Uh, as we know that the purpose of bioequivalent study to demonstrate equivalence in biopharmaceutics quality between generic or copy pro uh, medicinal product and a preference medicinal product to allow bridging of preclinical tests and of clinical trials associated with the reference medicinal product. Uh, this is the copy of azithromycin tablet formula, the active ingredient same, azithromycin dehydrate, and this is the auxiliary substances, uh, as uh, you look in the slide. And then uh, the objective of this research to compare the bioavailability of two azithromycin tablet formulations, 500 milligram, with named Azifol tablets, pro, uh, manufactured by uh, Novel Pharmaceutical Laboratories Indonesia as test formulation, and compared to 500 milligram Zetromax tablets manufactured by Pfizer Australia Pty Limited as reference formulation. Prior to bioequivalent study, we did the dissolution test, and uh, we did it to in a full uh, medium of uh, pH, different pH. We see in this uh, slide that in pH 1.2 in hydrochloride medium, the azithromycin was not soluble, uh, we see. Uh, while in, in pH 4.5 in acetate buffer, the dissolution profile of azithromycin uh, for both formulation, azithol and zithromax, have similarity. We can see from the F2 value more than 50 uh, and uh, have no significant difference. And also in pH 6, the dissolution profile of azifol and zeitromax have the similarity and uh, have no significant difference. You can see from the F2 also more than 50. And uh, the fourth pH 6.8, the dissolution profile of azifol and zeitromax also have the similarity. We can see from the F2 value more than 50 and uh, means that have no significant difference. And then we continue to the bioequivalent study. Prior to the study, we should submit the study protocol with uh, the design single dose, open label, randomized, two-way crossover, and in fasting condition. And we submit it to Committee of Medical Research Ethics of the Faculty of Medicine, um, University of Indonesia, and then approved by the National Agency of drug and food control. After pass the study protocol, then 
uh, we, do, we did the subject screening. The subject screening, we do that uh, the subject should pass the physical examination and ECG and clinical laboratory testing such as hemoglobin, hematocrite, white blood counts, platelets, white blood count differential, and others. And also pregnancy tests, negative result of HBS, AG, anti-HBC, and also anti-HIV. And the subject will be excluded if they uh, if have a history of hepatic, renal, and cardiovascular system, taken alcohol or other medication for a long period of time, had hypersensitivity of azithromycin, had received any investigation drug within four weeks, and lost more than 450 milliliter of blood within three months prior screening. And in the screening, uh, 24 subjects were selected. After that, the 24 healthy subjects signed the informed consent. And this is the demographic data for azithromycin by equivalent study in 24 subjects. The age, um, the mean is 28.6 years, and the weight 57. Uh, Fifty-seven point seven, and the head one hundred sixty-two point four, and the body mass index twenty-one point eight. So all the data fulfill the criteria that uh, we uh, we follow the FDA guideline in this research. And then after they signed the informed consent, uh, we did the blood sampling. The blood sampling from predose uh, 0 0.5 until 120 hours, with two weeks was out period. Uh, actually, uh, we can stop until 72 hours uh, regarding to the EMEA guideline, but the study, uh, we continue the uh, sampling until 120 hours. Before the sampling, all subjects avoided using other drugs for at least two weeks prior to the study and until after its completion. They also refrained from ingesting alcohol, caffeine, chocolate, tea, or coke containing beverages at least 48 hours before each dosing and until the collection of the last blood sample. Subjects were confined at clinical unit. Uh, we, we have collaboration uh, with clinics in the laboratories one night before the study to assure the fasting condition. On the study day, subjects were given one tablet of either product with 240 milliliters of water, and no food was allowed until four hours after dose administration. Water intake was allowed two hours after the dose. Standard meals were served at four and 11 hours after the drug administration, and snack was served at eight hours after drug administration. And uh, during the sampling, the blood pressure, heart rate, body temperature, and adverse events were monitored. So in this uh, research, the events, uh, the, the safety evaluation, so we analyzed the safety-related data was considered using the more common adverse events which occurred after initiation of study treatment. In this study, we have 28 events that consist of related such as optimal discomfort, uh, 15 events, dizziness, seven events, somnolence, two events, nausea, one events, and also the probable events, such as weakness, uh, two events, myalgia, one event. So the total events, about 28 events. After we collect the blood, uh, so five milliliters of blood, and then we isolate the plasma, and plasma was freezed at minus 20 degrees Celsius until analysis. So we analyzed the sample with validated method, and this method was linear from two until 500 nanogram per mil, and the method has validated in terms of accuracy, precision, stability, selectivity, and linearity, and also uh, dilution integrity and others. In this research, we use the LCMS-MS, and this is the mass spectrometry condition. The scan type is multiple reaction monitoring, and the polarity was positive, and the ion source is turbo 
ion spray, and the compound dependent parameters for detection mass for azithromycin, the parent uh, was 375, while the daughter 83.1. In this study, we, we used the propranol as internal standard. Ideally, we should use the analog of azithromycin or the uh, label azithromycin, but in this study, we try to use propranolol, it's uh, more easy to find. And then we validate the method, and no ion separation in this uh, method development. So uh, to propranolol, the parent was 260.2, and the daughter 116.2. And this is the chromatographic condition, the column is river face with the dimension column, and then we use also gut column. And uh, we use, uh, in the study, we use gradient elution with mobile phase consists of 0.1% uh, formic acid in estonitril and 0.1% formic acid in water. And this is the profile of the gradient elution. The flow rate was 0.7 milliliter per minute and the injection volume was uh, 5 microliter and the runtime 2.50 minutes. And the retention time for azithromycin uh, was 0 0.95 minutes and pro propranolol 1.10 minutes. And before we analyze the sample, we should do the sample preparation. Uh, in this research, uh, we do the protein pro precipitation with astronitril. 250 microliter of human plasma sample was added with 20 microliter of propranolol as internal standard. Uh, with concentration of 10 microgram per mil, and then the solution was mixing, and then uh, 250 microliter of estonitril was added, and vortex mix for 30 seconds, and centrifuge at 3,000 RPM for 10 minutes, and then the supernatan was transferred into a file, and then centrifuge again at 3,000 RPM for five minutes. And finally, five microliter supernatan was injected into the LCMS-MS system. This sample preparation is uh, easy and also quickly we, we done. So uh, the analysis time is uh, more shorter than uh, the other analysis that we have developed. After that, uh, we can count the pharmacokinetic uh, data parameter.
610.41. And for AUC 0 to T, the test reference point estimate was 94.63, and this is the limits range. And for AUC 0 to infinity, the test to reference point estimate was about 95 to uh, 0.35, and this is the limits range. And also, the TMAX, uh, the important parameters, these three, but we can also to compare the half-life of the two formulation. So if we, we see the, into the guideline of FDA, the, the, the copy uh, state that it is by equivalence if the range between 80 until 125%. So in this study, all the parameters fulfill the criteria of uh, the FDA. So 90% confident intervals of AUCT, AUC0 to infinity, CMAX, and half-life log transform individual ratios of azithromycin were included into the range of bicephalence at uh, 80 until 125%, and the individual TMAX was not statistically different between the two formulations. The mean ratio of AUC0 to T to AUC0 to infinity for all individuals and for both products was around 12%. This indicates an adequate sampling time since the extrapolated portion of the total AUC is less than 20%. Hard life in the study about 50 hours for test product and 47 hours for reference product were consistent with the result uh, reported in the prior literatures is about 40 until uh, 50 hours. And if we see the intrasubject variability of azithromycin in the AUC0T, AUC0 to infinity, CMAX, and half-life, estimates from the coefficient varia variance were 18.65%, 18.11%, 32.09%, and 11.53% uh, respectively. It means that the number of uh, subjects in this research, in this research was uh, sufficient. So uh, from the research, uh, we, make, uh, we can make the conclusion that the two azithromycin tablets for test and reference drugs were bicephalin in terms of the rate and extent of absorption. And thus, the two formulations are therapeutically equivalent and therefore can be used interchangeably. And thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, now I give back the time to the chair. Thank you very much.